George Porter, Baron Porter of Luddenham, the 6th of December 1920 to the 31st of August 2002, was a British chemist. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1967. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Education and early life. Porter was born in Stainforth, near Thorn, South Yorkshire. He was educated at Thorne Grammar School, then won a scholarship to the University of Leeds and gained his first degree in chemistry. He was awarded a PhD from the University of Cambridge in 1949 for research investigating free radicals produced by photochemical means. <laughs> <laughs> Career and research Porter served in the Royal Naval Volunteer Reserve during the Second World War. Porter then went on to do research at the University of Cambridge supervised by Ronald George Reeford Norrish where he began the work that ultimately led to them becoming Nobel laureates. His original research in developing the technique of flash photolysis to obtain information on short-lived molecular species provided the first evidence of free radicals. His later research utilized the technique to study the minutia of the light-dependent reactions of photosynthesis, with particular regard to possible applications to a hydrogen economy, of which he was a strong advocate. He was assistant director of the British Rayon Research Association from 1953 to 4, where he studied the phototendering of dyed cellulose fabrics in sunlight. Porter became a professor in the chemistry department at the University of Sheffield in 1954-55. It was here he started his work on flash photolysis with equipment designed and made in the departmental workshop. During this tenure he also took part in a television program describing his work. This was in the Eye on Research series. Porter became Falarian Professor of Chemistry and Director of the Royal Institution in 1966. During his directorship of the Royal Institution, Porter was instrumental in the setting up of Applied Photophysics, a company created to supply instrumentation based on his group's work. He was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1967 along with Manfred Eigen and Ronald George Reeford Norrish. In the same year he became a visiting professor at University College London. Porter was a major contributor to the public understanding of science. He became president of the British Association in 1985 and was the founding chair of the Committee on the Public Understanding of Science COPUS. He gave the Romains lecture, entitled, Science and the Human Purpose, at the University of Oxford in 1978, and in 1988 he gave the Dimbleby lecture, Knowledge Itself is Power. From 1990 to 1993 he gave the Gresham lectures in astronomy. Topic. Awards and honors Porter was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1960 and served as President of the Royal Society from 1985 to 1990. He was also awarded the Davy Medal in 1971, the Rumford Medal in 1978, the Ellison Cliff Medal in 1991 and the Copley Medal in 1992. Porter also received an honorary doctorate from Harriet Watt University in 1971, he was knighted in 1972, appointed to the Order of Merit in 1989, and was made a life peer as Baron Porter of Luddenham, of Luddenham in the County of Kent, in 1990. In 1995, he was awarded an honorary degree Doctor of Laws from the University of Bath. In 1976 he gave the Royal Institution Christmas Lecture on the Natural History of a Sunbeam. Porter served as Chancellor of the University of Leicester between 1984 and 1995. In 2001, the university's chemistry building was named the George Porter Building in his honor. Topic. Family In 1949 he married Stella Jean Brooke. Topic. Publications. Chemistry for the Modern World 1962 Chemistry in Microtime 1996 Topic References Topic External Links Profile Royal Institution of Great Britain the Life and Scientific Legacy of George Porter, World Scientific Publishing, 2006 
Obituary in the Guardian, the 3rd of September 2002. Biographical database of the British chemical community, 1880 to 1970. The relevance of science. George Porter, JASA Journal of the American Scientific Affiliation, Volume 28, March 1976. PP 2 to 3 includes editorial responses from astronomer Owen Gingrich and theologian Bernard Ram amongst others. Closing parenthesis. <laughs>